powered by the Montana Television Network. The KRTV 10 o'clock news starts right now in high definition. Thanks for making care to be your choice for news tonight. I'm Shannon New and I'm Tim McGonigal. After a week of uncertainty, the votes are finally counted. The recount for the Great Falls City Commission wrapped up this evening. Only 10 votes separated City Commission hopefuls Tracy Houck and Rick Tryon. Tryon had requested a recount. Any vote separated by less than a quarter of a percent is eligible. The results indicate Tracy Houck has secured that commission seat by 11 votes. Cascade County commissioners counted the nearly 14,000 votes by hand. As one commissioner reads each ballot, the other two kept a running tally of votes for each candidate. After every 20 votes, they would cross check their numbers to make sure everything stayed on track. The recount was expected to take up to three days, but commissioners finished in two. Tracy Houck joins incumbent Bill Bronson, the other winner of last week's election on the Great Falls City Commission. We may have noticed the wind getting louder in the past few hours. We've got our storm tracker meteorologist Mike Rollins monitoring it for us and Mike it's only going to get worse. Yeah, absolutely. The winds are getting stronger out there as we speak, and I think the strongest winds yet to come. Let's get you outside. Live look here on the U.S. Bank Eye Cam overlooking Marketplace. The camera bouncing around here at KRTV. We're at 40 degrees, but look at the wind. It is gusting up around 29 right now out of the south and southwest sustained anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. So it is quite windy out there at the airport. We're sustained at 28. 20 in Lewistown, 26 in Cutbank, and yes, the winds are gusting even higher. In fact, gusting 240 here in Great Falls, 37 up in Cutbank, Geyser, 28 miles per hour. And as we get into the overnight hours, the winds will strengthen. Tomorrow morning, winds up around 30 to 35, and they're going to get stronger in the afternoon, up around 40 miles per hour with gusts even higher than that. I'll detail this all for you coming up in Storm Tracker weather. All right, thanks, Mike. Great Falls bank robbery suspect Dwayne Adi Jr. was in court this afternoon. He was arraigned in district court where he pled not guilty to one count of robbery. Adi is accused of robbing the first interstate bank at 211 5th Street North back in mid-October. Police say a suspect entered the bank with a handgun and held up a teller. Officers scoured the area for several hours before locating Adi in an alley downtown. U.S. Marshals, Cascade County deputies, probation and parole, and a border protection helicopter all assisted in that search. Court documents say Adi spent hundreds of dollars around Great Falls in the hours following the robbery. He's being held in the Cascade County Detention Center on $250,000 bond. Great Falls area law enforcement got a big thank you today for their work in tracking down that suspected bank robber. It was the downtown branch of First Interstate Bank that was robbed. Bank staff said thank you with a lunch for all of the agencies that assisted in the capture. They also presented a $15,000 donation to the Great Falls Police Community Foundation. You know, seeing the limited resources.